Gun violence is escalating in Portsmouth. Since the start of 2022, police already have investigated six homicides. Officers say they are working to solve each case, but as Allie Weatherton reports, they need your help getting a suspected criminal off the street. The city of Portsmouth is battling growing gun crime. Honestly, it's kind of scary. It was such a rare occurrence. You would never hear gunshots, and now once or twice a week, you'll hear gunshots and you don't know where they're coming from because it echoes. That worries Michael Gray so much so he installed several cameras on the outside of his home. You just never know what's going to happen. And because now it's you hear about it on the news almost every single week in Portsmouth, there's a shooting. And now that I hear the gunshots, I decided that I had to be proactive and install security cameras. As of Tuesday, there have been six murders in Portsmouth since the start of 2022. Detective Brian Davis says the city is seeing an increase in violent crime. We're doing our best. You know, here in Portsmouth, we, we've always worked hard and, you know, gotten the job done. And now police need your help with a murder that happened two weeks ago at River Walk Inn and Suites on Effingham Street. Investigators believe DeMonte Worrell shot and killed David Branch and seriously injured a woman. Officers say they consider Worrell a dangerous person and hope someone knows where he is. All the tips that we received, we've been one step behind them. Uh, we have gotten a lot of good information. Hopefully we can get that final piece that we can get him uh, in custody and out of the public. Police think Worrell is still in the Hampton Roads area. They say if you see him, call police and don't approach him. In Portsmouth, Ali Weatherton, 13 News Now. And if you know anything that can help investigators, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. You can remain anonymous.